Welcome, collectors, to this installment of Diecast Emporium. Uh, it's been a handful of years since I've done a collection update on my 164 scale FDNY collection, and based on the analytical data that YouTube uh, provides to their creators, it's one of the most popular and widely viewed series on this channel, so I figured um, it was time to do an update. So you'll see a couple new additions in here and uh, that you haven't seen in the other videos. Nothing too great, but definitely worth... Uh, worth your time and tuning in. So we'll start off with uh, this. This is one of the new additions. This is a green light. I believe it's a 1976 Dodge F100 van. Pretty nice little piece. It says uh, Hazmat Operations on it. There you can see it there with the FDNY striping and the logo on the door. Keep back. Ironically, it has the newer style uh, well, what was the newer style before they went back to the yellow license plate. But overall, not a bad old Dodge. Next, we have a 2014 Ford Interceptor Utility EMS SUV. And just behind the rear tire, it says uh, EMS uh, division 4, www.newyorkcity.gov backslash FDNY. I like the light bar on it. And there is the new style, current style, yellow license plate. Also, if I didn't mention, this is also made by Greenlight. As is this one, this is a brand new edition within the last uh, handful of months or so. This is a, make sure I get this right, 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD, part of the Dually series. And the Duallys come with a trailer hitch in the back. So always a, always a nice addition there. Basically just says FDNY on this truck. Doesn't say Chief or anything on it. But it's really nice, as you'll see here in a minute, there's a couple different trailers that have been released, also by Green Light, that you can hook up to the back of this if you so desire. So that is the 3500. So the first trailer set that you'll see is one that's been out for a while. This one was released with a 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. Uh, also a EMS Division 1 and a Special Operations Command trailer. And the trailer does open at the back. So you can put stuff in there if you'd like. There we go. And as I mentioned, you know, if you don't like the uh, Ford pulling this trailer, maybe it's, you know, a little bit too small for it. You can always hook it up to the dually, which I personally think is a better truck for it. And the other trailer set was also a fairly new release. It's also a special operations trailer. This is a single axle trailer, and it's being pulled by a 1986 Chevrolet uh, M1008 truck. So these were very popular with the Marine Corps, and many of them found use afterwards uh, with fire departments and police departments, and even some in the civilian world. So that was also a set, a uh, hitch and toe set that was released very recently. And this trailer does open up at the rear as well. Kind of give you a quick 360 degree view of this trailer. And here is the truck. Has a nice kind of guarding on the front of it. The tires stick out a little too far. But other than that, it's a solid casting. Alright, let's get into the bigger stuff. First that I have to show you is a 2013 International Durastar FDNY Ambulance. Part of the HD Truck Series that started a number of years ago. 
even in the even today the HD truck series and the SD truck series it's kind of a reoccurring theme that they will release whether it's New York City or um, other aspects of New York they will continuously year in and year out release NYPD FDNY sanitation of New York City etc etc so it's very easy to build up a collection based off of just if you collect green light vehicles. Always appreciated the uh, light bar on the back of this ambulance. Always thought it was a very realistic, very realistic uh, representation of what the light bar looks on the back. So there's the ambulance. Next that I will show you is a Code 3 1998 Seagrave pumper or engine. Uh, engine 45 out of the Bronx. So that is a vintage Code 3 model. Awesome looking engine. I was able to find one of these at uh, one of the local trade shows here within the past year. I believe if my research is correct, um, I think this, I think engine 45 and I think this truck was um, destroyed on September 11th, unfortunately. Perhaps if there's any FDNY historians that end up watching this video, feel free to correct me on that. I definitely want to make sure I'm accurate on that. I definitely know for sure I'm right on Rescue 1, which you'll see here in a minute, unfortunately. Alright, so the next four that I'll show you are from a company called Americom. And from what I can gather, they somehow worked out a business agreement to obtain some old Code 3 castings. They aren't necessarily the same quality that the Code 3 trucks were, Um but essentially they are the same mold with some casting modifications and changes to save some money, cut some corners, etc., etc. But overall they are some very nice trucks for not a whole lot of money. These trucks range anywhere on Amazon from like 20 bucks to 30 bucks, depending on which one you get. And again, I can't emphasize this enough, they are not the same quality as Code 3 was before Code 3 kicked the bucket, went out of business. But overall it's not bad for what you pay. So this is a Seagrave uh, squad unit, squad 61, with a beautiful, never forget September 11th, bald eagle mural on the truck. Next we have an old Mack hazmat truck. Many of these are still used by the FDNY for high-rise units, collapse units, hazmat trucks. So a lot of these old rescue trucks were retrofitted for the purposes that I just mentioned and are still in service. So one of the, re one of the ways that um, Americom saved money on these castings you can probably tell already that, you know, a lot of the stuff that used to be die cast on the Code 3s on the casting is plastic. That's one of the dead giveaways. But again, you know, it's not the end of the world. All right, so here is the aforementioned uh, Rescue 1. The uh, This is a Salisbury Rescue chassis. And I believe this was the 1999 version, so I think that this would have been the one that would have responded and would have been in service on September 11th. It does have the raft up on top. Nothing opens. Again, like the back door and stuff does not open. But overall, it's not a bad not a bad looking rescue truck. Again, for, for what you pay versus what the Code 3 units go for now. Uh, certainly with the what I like to call the the fee bay inflation rate. Um, you know, if you're if you're just looking to add a rescue truck to your collection, and you don't necessarily have to have top of the line stuff. You know, why pay 
$200 when you can pay 20 bucks. I mean, that's simple. To me, that's simple math. But it's all about, you know, what you collect, what you're into. And last, but certainly not least, and again, these last four that I'm showing you, if you, if you didn't hear what I said earlier, these are all Americom models. This is a 43 truck or Ladder 43 Spanish Harlem. Seagrave truck, Seagrave rear mount ladder. Uh, the outriggers don't deploy on this. Obviously, you wouldn't expect that. Uh, but the ladder does work and extend and move and go up and down. Some nice details such as the lights and uh, the decals and stuff are really pretty crisply done all throughout. Even the tribute to 43 truck existence November uh, existence 20th November 1913 Spanish Harlem. So pretty nice. And again, there is the front of the truck as well. So there you have it, guys. That is my 164 scale uh, FDNY collection. Overall, some pretty nice rigs. Let me know down in the comments section below which is your favorite. Again, uh, collection-wise, is not something that I put a lot of time or effort into, I'll be honest with you. It's something, you know... I may add one or two pieces a year to, um, but it is fun to kind of see what's out there. Uh, I will give it to Green Light; they do a very good job of keeping current and uh, adding some appealing and interesting pieces once or twice a year, and uh, keeps the collection fresh and makes it fun. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you in the next review.